So today we'll be looking at the cell cycle, which is basically the life cycle of a cell. Uh, as you can see here, there will be different things that uh, the cell has to go through uh, in order for it to actually complete a cycle. First of all, these three parts here is what we say make up the interface. It's important to understand that in the interface, it makes up about 95% of the entire cell cycle. And interface has three phases, growth one, synthesis and growth two. And these are the preparation steps uh, before we do actually do mitosis, which is this bit here, and also cytokinesis, which is the splitting of the cell. Mitosis is what we call the uh, splitting of the nucleus. And cytokinesis is the splitting of the cytoplasm. So we'll start off with growth one, uh, which is the beginning of the interface of the cell cycle. What the cell wants to do at this pit is to really prepare itself uh, before it splits into two. So it needs to make sure it has the same copy of everything that it has. So here you will be all organelle replication. For example, um, mitochondria or chloroplasts in plant cells and ribosomes, they will make a du duplicate copy of themselves in this bit. So to make sure that your resulting two cells will have exactly the same affinity. And also the cell grows in size, make sure that your resulting daughter cells will have the same original normal size and also protein synthesis can happen this sort of links into organelle replication because obviously organelles will contain lots of different types of proteins in it and respiration can also occur so respiration can provide the energy or the ATP required uh, for the cell to actually do various things to move things around etc so that is growth one or G1 phase. What happens next will be the synthesis phase and this is specifically different because here we can have the organelle replication uh, but here is where the DNA actually replicates. Just to clarify there will be no DNA replication in G1 or G2 but only in S which is the synthesis phase. Then growth 2 is pretty much the same as growth 1. There's not a lot of uh, differences between the two, except uh, when it comes to checking the content, uh, they do check for slightly different things. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. So the cell will undergo interface G1, S, and G2. Then it gets enough stuff to go into mitosis, splitting the DNA, then cytokinesis, splitting the cytoplasm into two separate daughter cells. And each of those daughter cells will then undergo the same process again and again. And that's why we get so many different cells. But it's important to know that this what happens here are complicated processes, and so that means sometimes uh, we might have some errors or uh, problems in it. So that's why it's important that the cell is able to check that they are safe or check that they all have the right stuff before moving on to the next one. Because what you don't want happening is that the error gets carried forward and then you get a faulty cell uh, multiplying itself over and over again. So therefore, the cell is quite clever in setting different checkpoints to check for errors. So, so first of all, this is what we call the G1 checkpoint. Checking that it has the organelles, checking that the size of the cell is correct, uh, and also checking for DNA errors as well. And that is probably one key point. This is important because if they detected DNA damage at this phase, they will stop the cell from going to synthesis uh, to prevent more damage DNA to be made. Uh, if they do check that, that there is a problem, uh, the cell goes into a G0 phase or L arrest. And after that, if there's if it's all fine, they go into synthesis and go to G2 phase. And at G2, you got the G2 checkpoint. And the G2 checkpoint really focuses on checking if there are any DNA damage or DNA replication error after the synthesis phase. Uh, but it also checks for all the, all the other stuff which happens here as well. So again, cell size, protein synthesis, etc. If they didn't detect any of those problems, then they go into mitosis, uh, which undergoes four specific phases, which are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So we call them PMAT. This checkpoint happens specifically in the metaphase. Uh, we call it the metaphase checkpoint or the spindle fiber assembly checkpoint. Later on when we go into the details of mitosis, then it will perhaps make a bit more sense. But what happens in metaphase is that the DNA sort of lines up along the center of the cell, prepare itself to be split apart into two. So what they do is they attach onto some train track that guide them to the opposite poles of the cell. And 
these chain tracks are what we call spindle fibers. So if we've got a DNA that is, or chromosome that is attached differently, the spindle fiber means when it splits, you might get a different amount of DNA on either side, which is obviously a problem. So therefore, it's very important to check that they are attached properly so that we can ensure all the DNA are split evenly between the two different sides. So at any one of these checkpoints, if there is ever an error, they will go into G0 phase. At so as I mentioned earlier, G0 is what we call the cell arrest phase. So if the cell actually enters G0, it's not going to go into any of these phases, it just completely stops. And there are different possible reasons for this. So first of all, uh, one reason is because it's the differentiated cell. So we say specialized cell will not undergo this whole uh, replication, so it just it just stops, which is perfectly fine because that's kind of the next step after mitosis is what you want to what you want to get is to get to differentiation and start helping the body function. Another possibility, as we mentioned here and here as well, is if there's DNA damage. There are some good links here to uh, cancer development. So one of the hallmarks of cancer is that the cell, the mutated cell, has somehow passed these checkpoints, allowing the cell to multiply, go into mitosis, and making more and more cells containing those mutated DNA. Finally, we can say that some cells become senescent cells. Our cells can only be divided a limited number of times, so as we continue to age, some of the cells have reached their maximum number of division, and that's what we call senescent cells. They were related to aging, and also lots of age-related diseases, for example, cancer or arthritis. Just a quick summary, uh, we start with interface, which consists of G1, S, and G2, which does all of these stuff, prepare the cell to uh, divide. Then we get to mitosis, which is the splitting of the nucleus or DNA. Then cyto uh, cytokinesis, which is the splitting of the cytoplasm to make two to cells. It's important to note that there are three checkpoints here and here and here. Uh, we've got G1 checking for cell size and DNA damage, G2 DNA replication error, and then uh, the metaphase checkpoint or the spindle fiber checkpoint checking that the DNA or chromosomes have attached to the spindle fibers correctly. If there is ever a problem in these checkpoints, the cell leaves the cell cycle and enters G0 phase, which is the cell arrest. And uh, there are a couple of reasons for it, because uh, the cell is differentiated spe or specialized, or that we found that there are DNA damage or DNA error there, or the fact just merely that because the cell uh, becomes senescent that they can't divide any more times than they already have.